friends, my name is Neetu Chaudhary. I am Assistant Professor of Physics in Biani Girls College, Jaipur. Today, I am going to discuss about the topic laser. Okay, first of all, we will see what a laser means. A laser is a coherent and focused beam of photons and it stands for light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. In this, basically, we study three pro processes, absorption, stimulated emission and spontaneous emission and it was first proposed by Einstein in 1917. Later on Mr. Towns, he was also a scientist, he proposed this theory and used it in 1954. Okay, to study this laser action, we should know about the states. Uh, atom or molecule should stay in the ground state that is EM for the mth state and EN for the nth state. First of all, we will study about the topic absorption. Let the atom is initially in its lower energy state that is mth state. Then a photon of a frequency En minus Em by H cross or you can say H mu interacts with this atom or molecule. Then this molecule goes to the higher energy state that is the nth state. Okay, For this, there is a some transition. So, for transition, we have some transition probability also and this transition probability depends on density of radiations at the frequency corresponding to energy separation of two le levels and this is denoted by PMN which is proportional to the density that is U nu and the proportionality constant here is given by Einstein absorption coefficient. So, BMN here is Einstein's absorption coefficient. Next, we will move to the spontaneous emission. As the name itself says, spontaneous means naturally. That is, if the atom was in excited state. So, in the excited state, atom remains only for the 10 to the power minus 8 seconds. After that, after emitting a photon, it moves to the ground state, that is the emit state. So, this is itself the spontaneous emission that is atom has a small lifetime that is 10 to power minus 8 seconds in the excited state and after that it spontaneously emits a photon and falls to the lower state. Okay, And here the photon energy is the difference in the energy En minus Em and rate of transition probability here it will depend only on the number of atoms not on the density. So, PNM will be equal to the ANM. Next, it's stimulated emission. Stimulated means induced emission. Okay, So, if a photon of proper frequency interacts with an atom, it is not essential that it may always be absorbed. That is, if we have a photon, it is not always possible that it will uh, absorb with this atom or molecule. It may interact with an atom in the excited state and induce it to emit a new photon of proper frequency. So, here it emits a new photon of proper frequency and the atom or molecule it moved to the ground state. Here the transitional probability as the transition going on in each and every state as in absorption, as in spontaneous emission also it goes in the stimulated emission. So, transitional probability here it depends upon the density of states and it is given by PNM equals to BNM mu nu. So, BNM here it is the Einstein coefficient of stimulated emission. So, these were the three topics of the laser that is absorption, spontaneous and stimulated emission and they are really very useful in lasers. So, kindly study them. It was very brief interview to them. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, comment and share and do not forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and also visit our website gurukpo.com. Thank you.